Hey guys, it's Dee here from Dee's Divine Guidance for the sign of Scorpio for January of 2020. Happy New Year. Uh, if this is your first time to my channel, I want to say welcome. My name is Dee. I'm a spiritual empowerment coach and healer, and I'm also an intuitive psychic medium. Um, and in this video, you're going to get the message from spirit as well as the energy healing to go along with it. And I do pull some more cards throughout the energy healing, so you want to stay tuned for that. Um, I also have a three-day challenge going on. It's free. It's in the Facebook group, or you can get it through email down below in the description box. Um, all you have to do is, yeah, just click the link. <laughs> and it's also in the comments. But we're doing three days to stop the self-sabotage. So obviously at this time of the year, we create a lot of New Year's resolutions. And sometimes we don't make it through. So this challenge will help you continue on with your goals for 2020. All right, let's see what's happening here. Mm. All right, so we've got the Queen of Cups. So again, the overall energy here is to really just live with a little bit more love in your life, to look at things from the positive side, um, to choose to be happy, to choose to look at things from a different perspective, from the positive perspective, okay? And I know that sometimes that's hard, um, especially with a little bit of what's going on here, but to really kind of realize that things are happening for you, not to you. Uh, the universe puts things, makes things, creates things in your lives to challenge you to learn and to also push you outside of where you're at in order to get back on the path that you need to be. And I feel like that's happening here for you. So in the beginning of the month, you've got the Two of Wands, you have the Knight of Swords, you have the Judgment card, and you have the Ten of Swords. So in the beginning of January, I definitely feel as though, again, you have a decision to make of which way you want to go. And I feel as though there's a lot of heartbreak. There's a lot of being stabbed in the back here. Definitely with the Knight of Swords, a lot of rocky, uh, yeah, rockiness um, and their judgment card there. So you really have to kind of pay attention to yourself. And again, remember, these are general readings. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And you can check out your moon and rising signs. But for, for a lot of you in here, I'm feeling like the very beginning of January, coming out of the holidays, coming out of the new year, that somebody might have done something that you didn't like, that somebody might have hurt you in a way that really is devastating. And I feel as though there could be a lot of resentment and a lot of judgment towards this person um, or situation, whatever it is for you. But there's definitely some rockiness. And I feel as though you're going back and forth in your mind as to determining which way are you going to go? Are you going to try to see it with more love? Or are you going to try to, you know, prove to be right and all of that? Okay. Sometimes seeing it with more love is just walking away from it. It doesn't mean that you have to accept it or forgive it or whatever. But instead, it's like you're choosing you. You're choosing to live your life in love rather than going back and forth tit tat with somebody. Um, we've got in the begin in the middle of the month, we've got the nine of wands. We have the six of cups. We have the four of wands and we have the moon card. So this is telling me here that you're standing in your power. I feel like for some of you, you are going to choose that. Um, a lot of that, there's going to be some healing that has to happen with that. You've got the nine of wands and the six of cups. So that's definitely standing in your power giving yourself your light back. So it's like you feel confident, you feel competent. Um, and then you've got the four of wands and the moon. So it's like you're communicating. You have to communicate with somebody. And I feel like there's going to be secrets that come out with this moon card. It's either you're going to start to recognize things about yourself or you're going to see things about this other person um, that you never realized before when you communicate with them. Okay, so again, communication is key here for you. Now, at the end of the month, you've got the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, but then you've got the Page of Swords, and you have the Three of Swords. And I feel like you just can't win. I feel like you try to get yourself there, but then it's like this person comes back. This definitely could be like a narcissistic type of person um, where, you know, they will leave you alone to see what you do, but then they're going to come back to you. It's kind of how I feel here. So again, it's like you're trying to stand in your power. You've got three queens here. There was a, um, oh, I can't remember. It was either Pisces or Virgo that had three queens as well. But so you're very powerful here. You're very powerful energy. 
you you know the truth like you you just know you know the truth about the situation or about the person and it's like they don't which is like a narcissistic thing and you've got the page of swords and the three of swords so this is about creating boundaries around the people that don't make you feel good the people that break your heart the people that disappoint you Okay, I posted that over in Facebook today about letting go of eight types of toxic people. Um, so you can check that out. That's on my personal page. But um, yeah, it's like you know what needs to be done and you're trying to do the right thing and you're trying to like go about it. But it's like this person or thing that just keeps coming back at you to haunt you basically. And um, it's like, yeah, you can't win. You can't win. All right, so we're going to go ahead into energy healing, and I'm going to take the three queens. I always go with an intention. So we're going to take the three queens, and we're going to use that energy in order to, you know, release anything there. So if you've never done this with me before, all you're going to do is just listen to some music while I connect the divine energy with your energy to release any blockages or trapped emotions, okay? Um, so go ahead and close your eyes and take a deep breath in. and let it out okay whatever thoughts come in just let them come in and let them go out here we go Take a deep breath in and go ahead and let it out. And you can go ahead and open your eyes. You can give me a thumbs up on the video if you like that energy healing. Um, the cards that came out here is the Hermit, the Three of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Two of Pentacles. So I really feel as though you have nothing to worry about here. And again, the Hermit card is about going within. It's about finding yourself, knowing yourself, trusting yourself, trusting your intuition, trusting that you know what's happening here. Again, that you know the truth is really what it's saying. And the Three of Cups with the Wheel of Fortune and the Two of Pentacles, I just feel as though um, whatever's happening here is going to create, uh, I'm hearing the word stem, don't really know, but like a branch, it's like going to create something else that's coming off of your life, maybe a new relationship, friendship, um, you know, collaboration, co-worker, 
whatever it's going to be, I feel as though what you're going through here in the month of January, by the end of January, you're going to form a new connection with somebody, okay, with the Wheel of Fortune and the Two of Pentacles. And I feel as though this person is going to be there to help you um, guide you, to help you move forward, to help you see the truth as well. It's kind of like when you see the truth, but you doubt yourself, this person's going to say, uh, 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 you know, <clears throat> so that's what I'm feeling here. So expect a new connection at the end of the month that will help you. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Um, so if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. If you liked this video, um, I do have new videos coming out every single week. Uh, also, if you want to join me in the Stop Yourself Sabotage challenge, you can do that in the description box and also in the comments below. Sign up for that. The challenge will come down um, a few days after. So if you're seeing this later, make sure you click the link for the emails um, and you will get emailed the challenge there. All right. Much love to all of you. Have a wonderful new year and I will talk to you next month. Much love. Bye bye.